Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the normal distribution's cumulative distribution function. Let's compare the cumulative distribution function to the probability density function. If we scroll up the page, we have an example of the probability density function. We see this is bell-shaped for the normal distribution as opposed to the cumulative distribution function which gradually goes from a value of 0 to 1. There are two parameters in the normal distribution, the mean and standard deviation. Let's vary those and watch the effect on our chart. Changing mean from 0 to 3 moves the chart to the right, and changing standard deviation from 1 to 2 stretches the chart out a little bit. Now let's put our original numbers back in there, 0 for mean and 1 for standard deviation. And remember, the cumulative distribution function is the probability that an object will have a value from negative infinity up to x if the object is randomly chosen from a group of objects whose values are normally distributed with a given mean and standard deviation. And we're going to create the data for the x and y axes right here. There will be four columns of data. The first column will begin with a value of negative 30. And the next cell in that column will equal the previous cell plus 1. And we're going to drag that formula down. To do that, put the cursor right in the cell and then move the cursor to the corner until the x appears and then drag that cell all the way down as far as we need. So we're going to have values from negative 30 up to 30. Three more. There we are. And we have three other columns of data to drag their formulas down. Now let's take a look at the formulas in each one of those cells. So in cell C154, that is the formula. And in cell D154, that is the formula right here. Let's get a close-up of that. Okay, D154. And in E154, that is the formula for the normal distribution's probability or cumulative distribution function. That's it right there. And that red true indicates that this is the cumulative distribution function. If that was false, it would be the probability density function in Excel. Now we're going to drag those formulas down. Let's see the inputs for the cumulative distribution function right here. That would be the two user inputs, mean and standard deviation, and the x-axis, as it should be. Let's erase those arrows. Now we're going to remove the yellow color and the borders from each one of these cells so we don't drag that down with the formulas. And we're going to select all three cells at one time and drag the formulas down all at once. So put the cursor in the corner until you see the x and then drag the cell block down. There we have all the data for the x and y axis. And now we can make our chart. And this is Excel 2003. It's pretty straightforward to make a chart. And let's put the borders and the color back into those cells as we had that originally. Okay, now let's create our chart. You can put the cursor anywhere you want. And go up and hit insert chart. This is an area chart. The first variation of the area chart and hit next. And the data is in columns. So let's add our first and only series of Y data. Hit add. And we're going to put a label. We're going to label that. That would be the cumulative probability of x. And once we type that label in and hit enter, that label will appear on the chart. Now we're going to get the values. Delete what's currently in that cell and hit the square in the corner and go down and select all of the values of the normal distribution, cumulative distribution function. Let's drag the cursor down and select everything in that column. And these are the y values for the chart. And hit the square in the corner of that dialog box and we can see the y values are now put into the chart. Let's do that for the x values as well. So select everything under the x-axis column. And then hit that square in the dialog box. Now we have the x and y axis created. Hit next. And we're going to put the correct title of the chart in. That would be the normal distribution, cumulative distribution function. And once we type that in, hit enter, we will see that title put into the chart. There it is. And category x-axis x. And next. Almost finished. Hit finish. And there's our chart. One more thing we want to do. We, we see the x-axis. We'd like to have whole numbers there. So click on the x-axis. 
bring up that dialog box, hit the second tab scale, and then go to the second, uh, the number of categories between tick marks. Let's change that to 10. OK, now we see we have whole numbers on the x-axis. makes the chart much more readable. And let's drag the chart up and put it over the top of the previous chart. There it is. And we'll change the user inputs, mean and standard deviation. And we want to see if those changes are reflected in the chart to make sure that we have made the chart correctly. Changing mean from 0 to 3 changes the mean on the chart. Changing standard deviation from 1 to 2 stretches the chart out, just like that. So let's put our original numbers back in there, 0 and 1 for mean, that's mu, and sigma is standard deviation. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of eManuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.